All right, guys, so we got some pretty big news yesterday on the Penn State Stadium situation. Finally, it is confirmed a $700 million Beaver Stadium renovation that is going to be a multi-phase process and it will be completed in 2027. Phase one begins with the college football playoff in mind. It says Penn State plans the $700 million four-year renovation, setting a completion date in time for the 2027 football season. The university will begin the project this year with maintenance and winterization work to ensure that Penn State can potentially host a college football playoff game in 2024 when the playoff expands. The Penn State Board of Trustees on Friday approved the Athletic Department's $70 million funding request to begin the first phase of the renovations. The university now moves to the design phase of the project, which seeks to upgrade and modernize the 63-year-old football stadium. And then we do have some details. Guys, if you don't know, $700 million for a college football stadium is no joke. Even with current inflation, this is going to really change this stadium. The only renderings I have are from like the initial design in 2017. This is not the final renderings. They have not released those, but the seating will probably be redesigned in some way. Uh, I'm going to go through the entire details of what the article says. Uh, the renovation will focus on Beaver Stadium's west side, which will undergo a complete reconstruction, the university said. While the west side bowl-style seating will remain, new features will include suites and club lounge seating areas. The project also includes upgrades to restrooms, concessions... Other renovation plans include the following, lighting enhancements to meet NCAA standards, improved circulation on the stadium's south side to alleviate congestion and crowding near the Beaver Stadium, tunnel access from the Penn State locker room, suites refresh on the stadium's east side, restroom and concession additions on the north and east sides. And then it says, so this is a funny little part of the article. When asked whether the stadium would fall below 100,000 in terms of capacity, they said, no, it will never be below 100K. And if you guys don't know, that's kind of like the arms race between ADs. It's gotten to the point with college football where it's like, if you want to be a prestigious college football program, like the 100,000 in terms of capacity, it's like a milestone for your program almost. It's it's the opposite of what the MLB is doing. They're lowering their capacity. They're lowering their stadium attendance and, and things like that. College football, they all want to be at 100K. They all want to get that crowd. Obviously, Penn State, they do a great job with their home games. And this will be a very, very big renovation. Seems like uh, you can see like the original design. It looks like uh, a big renovation on the exterior with the breaking and stuff like that. And then also the interior. That's basically all new seating. Kind of reminds me of Levi Stadium, the way that upper deck is designed. Again, this is not the updated rendering. Apparently, it's going to take them like a year to even come up with a, a rendering for the redesigned stadium. They are keeping some of the seating in place, but I'm sure a lot of it will be changing. And then, of course, they're going to update the suites. They're going to get better Wi-Fi, yada, yada, yada. That's not surprising. But this is a big deal when it comes to college football. Penn State, you know, extremely good atmosphere, and that's going to be a major change in the entire project, which is a, I believe it said it was a four-phase project finishing in 2027. The first phase of it is making sure it's fine in terms of like the weather and stuff like that. I would imagine, you know, they might put some type of antifreeze on the ground or something like that, maybe in case of snow. But, I mean, Penn State is playing home games in November. It's probably like 30 degrees then. So, I know Big Ten has like this rule where you can't have home games in November because of how cold it is. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the college football playoff. But it could get kind of crazy if December, you know, you're dealing with really cold temperatures. But honestly, with the way things have been going 
at least kind of in the Big Ten area, which is where my footprint is. Uh, it's not like December's have been pretty mild, but it really is hit or miss. I mean, you might get a day where it's 15 degrees and it's just kind of the luck of the draw whenever the game is. But normally we get more mild December's, like around 30 or 40 degrees. Uh, but either way, that is coming and we really shouldn't notice any significant change to the actual stadium until I would say at least 2025 or 2026. The first phase of it is going to be very, you know, $70 million apparently. They're just making sure it's ready for a potential winter weather type game. Now guys, as for a few other renovations I wanted to talk about uh, that we're seeing with college football, I'm going to go over the Fresno State Valley Children's Stadium renovation. This was just announced yesterday. $250 million upgrade to their athletic facilities, uh, including a reimagined stadium shown in the renderings in 2018. They did try this, but failed to renovate the stadium, which is reportedly in serious need of an upgrade. So Fresno State, there is a lot of renderings released. $250 million is no joke. We've heard the rumors of Fresno State. Will they join the Pac-12? We've got all this realignment crap going on, uh, but this is definitely going to make them more attractive if their stadium is really that bad. Investing a quarter of a million dollars into it. Uh, you know, that is a, a really impressive sum of money for Fresno State. And then we do also have Marshall uh, redesigning a larger renovation of their south end zone with a brand new video board. The new video board replaces a small existing one and will be up in time for the 2023 college football season. So Marshall stepping up their game in their one end zone, getting a new video board. And then kind of a little interesting renovation here with Texas State. They recently announced a $4 million donation towards their revamped south end zone complex. The upgrades to the complex, which currently which currently houses the development facilities and the football offices will include a new player lounge, weight room, and premium hospitality suites. The total renovation will cost $37 million per their athletic website. So uh, kind of a nice little thing, kind of weird design, right? It almost looks like their weight room is located right behind the stadium. Is that what that is? I don't know, kind of interesting little design there, but that is Texas State. And then I did kind of want to talk about an overall bigger picture point when it comes to college football. You know, we've seen the NFL, they're all doing the retractable roof, the fixed roof, they're valuing like, like the controlled climate aspect to really cater to the modern fan because we are getting softer and it's just going to inevitably keep happening with human beings. As things get easier, human beings are going to get softer. It's just like the kids that are born today are going to be softer than we were because life is going to be easier because technology is going to make it easier. Now people don't want to stand out in 20 degree weather. Will college football ever possibly start designing retractable roof or maybe overhangs in their stadium and the renovation that I would point to on what I think college football might do, Camp New Barcelona. They're getting a $1 billion renovation with a massive stadium overhang to where you're still going to let in natural light. It technically is still an outdoor stadium, but virtually all of the fans are shielded from any precipitation, or at least most of the fans are shielded from precipitation. This is the exact design, or at least a similar design, on what the Buffalo Bills are doing. Is this the future of college football stadiums? Is this the next step, or will they just remain open air? I wonder if someone takes the plunge and designs a stadium or designs a renovation with one of these European soccer type modern overhangs. That is the thing I'm interested. In. And then the other thing that you do have, it's the video board going around it. We just saw a rendering that came out on a potential MLB expansion team and they have this video board that goes around in a circle the entire stadium. I think you're going to start seeing more and more of those. But the question that I always ask when it comes to college football 
You know, you're talking about Michigan Stadium, Ohio Stadium, Beaver Stadium. They go through these renovations, you know, crazy additional seating. What is the next step when it comes to college football stadiums? Will they keep them open? Or will they consider, as they get more and more expensive, as the games get pricier and pricier, will they possibly value fan experience and maybe switch to doing something like this or maybe go with a retractable roof because remember people sit here and they say and it's the same thing with with uh, just the NFL in general they'll say well oh you know fans don't care about the weather yes they do trust me they do dude I have heard so many fans the past two or three years in the northeast complain about how cold it is there was a game at Michigan Stadium I think they were facing Illinois and, I mean, Michigan was like 11-0 and at this point, like last year. I think it was the game Blake Corum got injured. The attendance was terrible. And the fans were like, oh, it's cold and Illinois is terrible. But it's like, dude, like, you know, there's like six home games a year. You know, so do, you, do we think fans are going to get soft enough to the point where there's going to be designs like this coming to college football? I think it's an interesting talking point. I certainly don't expect, you know, Beaver Stadium to get something like this. And I don't think, I mean, this is crazy. This is Barcelona. You know, it's one of the most famous soccer stadiums ever. It seats like 105K or maybe 100K. And, you know, they're investing a ton of money into the renovation. It's not just the circular, you know, roof structure they're putting onto it. But I do think looking at that, college football might follow a similar path. And you might see some of these teams like an Ohio State, like a Michigan, try and get the best of both worlds to where it's still open air, you're still getting natural light, but you're also getting coverage for the fans and really more of a controlled climate, even if there is an open area, or you could make it retractable. Maybe they go with a retractable roof, but I know that would cost more. Uh, But either way, guys, that is the situation when it comes to college football. There are a few teams getting renovations most notably Penn State with a complete redesign that is happening in multiple phases. Again, don't expect any major stadium changes for at least two years. They haven't even released official renderings, but that is something that has finally been approved. This was in the works going all the way back to 2017, and now it finally is officially happening. So that is the situation on that. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.